what's up beautiful people it's cinder Rima. welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video and it's titled this hollywood la just got arrested another one Woo! okay interesting i'm excited to check this one out to hear what they've got to say let's check it out my friends, they got another one. Another Hollywood producer has just been arrested for doing some absolutely horrific things. Some of the most vile things that I, I think we have seen from any sort of celebrity or producer in a while. And all this continues to do is just prove that we have been right about Hollywood this entire time. So let's go ahead and jump into this and see what the story is all about. Police have charged Hollywood producer and writer Lawrence Andres with drugging and doing terrible things to a man. The man who investigators said have come forward with uh, accusations because of concerns about more victims shared his story exclusively with ABC7 according to the outlet and uh man some of the stuff in here is just absolutely just messed up but uh we're gonna go ahead and jump into this because this man has been arrested and uh, justice is going to be served i believe that he drugged one of my drinks took me to his place and then i can't say the word i'm sorry i can't say the man who wants to be identified as john doe said the criminal complaint against andrew says that the producer who worked on shows including six feet under Blue Bloods, How to Get Away with Murder, and Supernatural was John Doe's mentor. Really vibe. What? Hollywood is a mess. Oh my goodness. What exactly is going on in Hollywood right now? But again, I love that these people are slowly getting exposed. What is what exactly is this that they do drug? Because I don't even understand what what like is this like, like a trend in Hollywood that they do this and they don't care, or is it because they promise people or they look or sought after or sought for vulnerable people or desperate people to take advantage of people, or what exactly is going on? Because this is not making sense. How many? Of course, there are so many in the industry. So many of them, and lots of them live off of this type of act. But it's a good thing that they are slowly but surely getting exposed. And we love to see this is when people from Hollywood getting exposed. But yeah, let's go on. Tour. Really vibing with the type of content that, that mirrored the type of monster that he is. John Doe alleged that he met Andres at a writer's program and they became friends, but that changed in 2022 when Andres invited him out for drinks. This is like some like crazy, crazy, like, uh, like, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer type stuff. This is wild. So let's check out this video here. I believe that he drugged one of my drinks, took me to his place, and then yeah. I can't say the word. I can't say the word. I'm sorry, I can't say it. Raw emotions as John Doe describes the sexual assault that has changed his life forever. Brutally violated, investigators say, by Lawrence Andres, a well-known Hollywood writer and producer. Andres, seen here on a YouTube show talking about his Hollywood career, has worked on numerous shows, including Six Feet Under, Blue Bloods, and Supernatural. Absolutely just crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, I always made it very clear, like, I'm heterosexual, that's not me, okay? John Doe said, I never ever even thought I had to say this. Expletive is never going to happen. John Doe said his life changed and that the revelations put his Hollywood career in peril, according to ABC7. So he knew, he knew, and this, is, this shows you just how cult-like Hollywood is. He knew that if he came forward to talk about this type of stuff, that would put him at jeopardy yes. in Hollywood. Isn't that insane <laughs> that people who have d had terrible, terrible things happen to them by Hollywood producers are terrified to come forward to talk about it because they are afraid of what could happen to them. It's insane that Hollywood elites will protect their own yes. instead of seeking out the the monsters that are in their midst that is just insane. disgusting it's insane despite the possible negative impact on his career however jo doe hopes he inspires others to come forward you still have a voice he did not take that away from you you have power to use your voice to help to ensure that this doesn't happen to anyone else the 66 year old andres has been charged with six felonies including just doing i mean 
as you can see here, just all sorts of absolutely horrific things and faces a total of 12 years in prison if convicted out of all accounts. So another bad guy has been caught, guys. So uh, we're going to see what uh, what all happens with this. We'll see what happens with the due process and everything else. But let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon. What? How many? Of course, Hollywood is going to protect their own because um they know these things they know this happens and it's more like a cult to them this is normal because how is it that somebody coming forward to talk about the things that happened to them to expose these people but rather if you come forward to expose them they're gonna end your career because how dare you expose them how dare you come forward to talk about the things that happens in hollywood it is supposed to stay secret remember because what, how many are there? Of course, it is common. It is very common in Hollywood. It is not even new. It is not even surprising. But what is shocking is the fact that they don't care about people. They only care about their own, the elite, the people in the round table. That is who they care. care. That is who they prioritize. It's insane. I hope he gets convicted, this producer gets convicted and let him face the law because who knows, God knows how many people he's done this to that can't even come forward because of the fear that of risking their career. Because how? It's not even shocking because we see this in the movies. But what is shocking is the fact that they don't care about people. They only care about their own, about their Cacos. Of course, they're gonna look for the fall guy. Because as long as you come out to talk about the things that happens in Hollywood or expose them, they're gonna end your career. Because to them, you're just another one that they can they can do away with. They don't care, they've got more. And of course. This is, this is what they do, taking advantage of people's vulnerability and tell them to keep quiet because they promise them enticing career, enticing things, enticing deals, and they're gonna give them enticing deals to shut up. But I'm glad that this producer has got arrested and I'm glad that this is coming forward so people know what is going on or what is happening so people know that it's not even new if somebody comes forward to talk about these things it really did happen it is not new not everybody's gone crazy wow well this is interesting i'm sure tons of people have interesting things to share i really love your honest contribution you can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video